This is the quotations from Chairman Mao Zedong, also known as the Little Red Book. Chapter 19, Revolutionary Heroism. This army has an indomitable spirit, and it de is determined to vanquish all enemies and never to yield, no matter what the difficulties and hardships. So long as a little man remains, he will fight on. Quotation from On Coalition Government, April 14th, 1945, Selected Works, Volume 3, page 264. Give full play to our style of fighting. Courage in battle, no fear of sacrifice, no fear of fatigue, and continuous fighting. That is, fighting successive battles in a short time without rest. Quotation from The Present Situation and Our Tasks, December 25th, 1947. Selected Works, Volume 4, page 161. Thousands upon thousands of martyrs have heroically died and laid down their lives for the people. Let us hold their banner high and march ahead along the path crimson with their blood. Quotation from On Coalition Government, April 24th, 1945. Selected Works, Volume 3, page 318. Be resolute, fear no sacrifice, and surmount every difficulty in order to win victory. Quotation from The Foolish Old Man Who Removed the Mountains, June 11th, 1945. Selected Works, Volume 3, page 321. At a critical moment in the progress of the Northern Expedition, the treacherous and reactionary policies of party purge and massacre adopted by the Kuomintang authorities wrecked this National United Front, the United Front of the Kuomintang. The Communist Party and all sections of the people, which embodied the Chinese people's cause of liberation, and all of its revolutionary policies. Thereupon, unity was replaced by civil war, democracy by dictatorship, and a China full of brightness by a China covered in darkness. But the Chinese Communist Party and the Chinese people were neither cowed nor conquered nor exterminated. They picked themselves up, wiped off the blood, buried their fallen comrades, and went into battle again. Holding high the great standard of revolution, they rose in armed resistance, and over a vast territory in China, they set up people's governments, carried out land reform, built up a people's army, the Chinese Red Army, and, pres and preserved and expanded the revolutionary forces of the Chinese people. Quotation from On Coalition Government, April 24th, 1945, Selected Works, Volume 3, page 261. You have many good qualities and have tended great service, but you must always, always remember not to become conceited. You are respected by all, and quite rightly so. But this easily leads to conceit. If you become conceited, if you are not modest and cease to exert yourselves, and if you do not respect others, do not respect the cadres and the masses, then you will cease to be heroes and models. There have been such people in the past, and I hope you will not follow their example. Quotation from We Must Learn to Do Economic Work, January 10th, 1945. Selected Works, Volume 3, page 239. In the fight to wipe out the enemy and to restore and increase industrial and agricultural production, you have overcome many difficulties and hardships and demonstrated immense courage, wisdom, and initiative. You are models for the whole Chinese nation, the backbone of the victorious advance of the people's cause in all spheres, pillars of support to the people's government and bridges linking the people's government with the great masses. Quotation from A Message of Greetings on Behalf of the Central Committee of the Chinese Communist Party 
to the meeting of representatives of National Combat Heroes and Model Workers, September 25th, 1950. We, the Chinese nation, have the spirit to fight the enemy to the last drop of our blood, the determination to recover our lost territory by our own efforts, and the ability to stand on our own two feet in the family of nations. Quotation from On Tactics Against Japanese Imperialism, December 27, 1935, Selected Works, Volume 1, page 170. This concludes Chapter 19. Chapter 20, Building Our Country Through Strength, Through Diligence, and Frugality, will be, will be enclosed in the following video of this series. Thank you for joining us, and have a wonderful evening.